Hello everybody, this is Electronic Pro Seller from the iBoot team and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Rockminer R3 500 Gigahash ASIC Bitcoin Miner. So first you will need a Rockminer R3 Bitcoin Miner, a Raspberry Pi, a SD memory card, maybe you get 12 gigabyte is a good one to have. You will also need a MCU USB line to power the Raspberry Pi or some other type of power for it and you will also need five um, mini USB cables and you will also need one ATX power supply so the required power supply for this miner is a 500 watt power supply but I'm using 900 so let's start So the mine is made up of four boards, one, two, three, four. So each one has its own power cable here. This one rides off into a fan at the side here that helps keep the miner very cool. On the side here you can also um, screw on your Raspberry Pi on these little screws. Um, each board has its own heat sink too. So first I'm going to screw on my Raspberry Pi to the side here so that it can sit there. So let's do that first. So now we have screwed on the Raspberry Pi to the side of the miner, so it sits there nicely. It'll just sit there, there's our Raspberry Pi. Next I'm going to connect up all the mini USB cables, so there are five in total. So now connect up all the mini USB cables. So it has its own built in USB hub here that can take four USB ports. So you can plug them into there. Very handy. Next one. So we've connected the four boards up to the USB hub, that's in the middle, and the fifth mini USB cable we plug into here. And this one we plug into our computer, or into the Raspberry Pi, that's what we're using to control it today. So I plug it into here, into the Raspberry Pi, to one of the ports. Okay, next we need the MCU USB cable. This is the power cable for our Raspberry Pi. So I basically plug this into one of the white slots here. Each board has its own little slot here. So I'm just going to use this one. So plug that in there. Great. And then the other end with the three sockets here. I'm going to plug into the Raspberry Pi. So I plug it into the Raspberry Pi. And when I plug it in, make sure the red cable 
is facing out and you plug it in at the end, the pins at the end. So make sure that's facing out like this. The red cable's facing out here. Three pins, three pins. Boom. There you go. And that will give power to our Raspberry Pi along this cable all the way from the board. Great. Next, we are going to download the Raspberry Pi image file and write it to our SD memory card. And then we can start up the miner. So that you can copy the Raspberry Pi image to your micro SD card. So I've downloaded them both already. Just going to plug in my micro SD card to my computer. Luckily, I've got a slot here. You might need a USB uh, drive to plug it into. Then uh, open Win32 Disk Imager. Say yes. And then find your image that you want to copy to the SD memory card. So you want Raspberry Pi Rock Miner R box. Select the drive. My one is drive E. Make sure you don't pick a hard drive. As you can see, my SD memory card is drive E here. So pick drive E and then click right. Yes. So it may take a while, it's pretty slow. The Raspberry Pi image is uh, quite big. It's about seven gigabytes, so it's a large image. Um, actually, this Raspberry Pi image is all compiled for you perfectly. So all the supporting libraries are already there for you. All the software is already installed for you. All you've got to do is write it to your um, SD memory card and you're ready to go. On top of that, it also has an, um, a web user interface incorporated into the software. That means that once you set it up, you set up your Raspberry Pi. And um, then you can use your laptop to connect to the Raspberry Pi and you can use that to modify the Raspberry, to modify the CG miner um, mining pool, etc. So you don't have to actually go into your Raspberry Pi anymore. So literally, you set up the Raspberry Pi once, and then um, you can log into the web user interface here to connect to the Raspberry Pi, and that's perfect. So that's all in this software here for you. So um, that's courtesy of Rock Miner as well. Um, so. We see Rockminer and iBoot were working together to try to provide the best user experience for all our customers. So this is going to take a while. And while this is writing, maybe I'm going to set up the Raspberry Pi now. So we'll be back in a short time. So we finished writing the Raspberry Pi image to our SD memory card. So now we can uh, pop it out. we're going to plug in the power so um, there are four power cables it takes six pin power cable there are four here we have to plug in then we're going to use an ATX power supply so plug in the six pin ATX power supply plugs into each board mm -hmm. the one Great, so now we're ready to go and we're ready to start mining. We have to configure the web user interface to mine at our, our chosen mining pool. So let's turn on the power. So first we have to connect to our miner quickly so that we can set the mining pool. So now you are ready to set up the mining pool information. So take an Ethernet cable and connect it to the same modem that the Raspberry Pi is using. So I plug in my Ethernet cable here. It's plugged into my modem, which is also plugged into the Raspberry Pi. The default IP address of the miner will be 192.168.1254.
So we need to connect to this uh, miner one time and set up the configuration, set up everything, and then it will be it will happily mine by itself because it's a standalone miner. So to do that first, go down to your uh, Ethernet cable settings. Open Network and Sharing Center. Find the Ethernet cable, local area connection. Click Properties. Internet Protocol version 4. Properties again. And then don't select obtain, obtain IP address automatically. Select use the following IP address and then type in this IP address, so 192.168.1.100 Click Subnet Mask, Subnet Mask, OK and click OK Close So now we will be able to connect directly to the miner and set up the mining pool and worker information. So open up Internet Explorer, type in the IP address of the miner, 192.168.1254. Type in the IP address of the miner into your Internet Explorer. So the IP address will always be 192.168.1.254 Click enter And we are into the web user interface now You can see here it's mining away So click uh, config And here we'll set the pool settings So I'm going to use a peer coin pool So my peer coin um, pool address is stratum.d7.lt and then put in the mining port after there pool port which is 333 then put in your username my username is I love PP coin dot two and put in the password my password one two three four five and then you can also put a second backup uh, mining pool here so for the time being I'm just going to use the same one Great, and also you can set the frequency here, so I'm going to set the frequency at 350M, which is the fastest one, so you can do 300, 320 or 350, but be careful of hardware errors, so let's try it at 350, and then I'm going to click update. Reboot. Wait 45 seconds. Click refresh. Might take a while because it's rebooting. Refresh again. Okay, so we're back in. So finally, the last thing you want to do is set IP address. So at the moment, the IP address is set to 192.168.1.254. So you might want to check now and find out what the IP address of your computer is. So let me check. To do that, go down here, type command. Type 
command, open command prompt, and then in command prompt type IP config. Click enter. And here you can see what is the IP address of your computer. So the IP address of my computer is 192.168.8.3 and the default gateway is 192.168.8.1. So this is quite important. So you've got to remember this third digit here, this is an 8. But on my minor it's a 1. So basically I'm going to change this. I've got to change it to match the IP address for my computer. So I'm going to change this to 8 change this to 8 as well and then click update now type in the new IP address of your miner so I changed mine to 192.168.8.254 so I set mine to 8 basically because the IP address of my network has uh, got an 8 on the third digit. Your one might be different, okay? It might be 1, it might be 8, it might be something else. So just set it to whatever you get from IP config. So mine's at 8, so I set it to 8. So now type in the new IP address of the miner. Click enter. Oh, great. And now we are inside. Excellent. So now I'm going to run the miner for... Uh, a couple of hours and see what speed can I get. Now it's been hashing away for a while, let's see what the speed is. So we're getting 510 giga hash per second. Very nice. So it's happily hashing away. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in buying a Rockminer R3 unit, then please visit our online shop www.iboot.com We are authorised distributors for Rockminer. Thank you. Bye-bye. So finally, you can go back to your network uh, sharing centre. Open network and sharing centre. Click on your air local area network. Click properties. IP protocol version 4 properties and you can click select obtain an IP address automatically because we set a new IP address to this miner now which matches our network so you just click that and then click OK